There are complications. What fucking complications? Who are these people? What the hell is going on here? Why are they setting fire to the asylum? It's not part of the plan. It is necessary. There is no other choice. Do you realize what you're doing? Years of research, and you're gonna give up just like that? Sometimes a small evil is worth a greater good. Everything we've been doing for the last five years is a complete fraud. Ramix must be destroyed. She died because of it. I won't let my creation hurt anyone else. Not this time. It's a true evil. It is a necessary evil. Jack? Jack? Can you hear me? Where am I? Everything is fine, Jack. You're safe. Don't try to get up. You'll get a severe concussion and a large burn on your arm. How did I get here? Everything seems foggy. Who are you? You don't remember, do you? Let me introduce myself, then. One more time, I am Dr. Romanov, your attendant physician. We found you on the road to the Memority Asylum. Memority? Never heard of it. Yes, you did. You just don't remember. You were there, Jack. You came from the asylum. They developed an experimental drug there. Rabbits. I'm sorry for tying you down. Please understand, we know nothing about your intentions or who you are. People who lost their memory were treated at memority, but someone didn't like it. Someone set fire to the asylum and stole all the samples three days ago. This person killed the entire staff and every patient there. All of them, Jack. Every single one. The asylum was burned to the ground. Nobody could find anything, and then suddenly... Suddenly, you appeared. The sole survivor. What is all of this about? What happened to me? Well... You were seriously injured, so your memory jumbled up. Your head is now in chaos. It's not easy to restore it now, but... You are the only witness of everything that happened. I have nothing to do with it! I was one of Ramak's leading developers. My colleagues and I attended a conference when the asylum was attacked. We couldn't get over the shock when we heard of it. And then you appeared, and all of my colleagues decided you were involved in that attack. It's some kind of misunderstanding! Let me go! I cannot. Now you are very important for the investigation. Where the heck are we? I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't tell you everything. Ramex was supposed to be a revolution in memory treatment, a new milestone in the history of healthcare. Look, Jack, we are far, very far from civilization, and believe me, nobody will bother to come here. This is why we've chosen this place for Ramek's development. This asylum belongs to a very rich man, and he won't be happy hearing that the work of his life and millions of budget have gone to waste. But you can prove you are innocent. Ramex will help you. It will immerse you deep into your mind and restore everything that happened. But... you said it's experimental. I... I'm not gonna take it. I'm sorry, but... You have no choice.
road was blocked by a tree that fell after the last storm, so I had no choice but to continue on foot. I could see the asylum in the distance, and my way led through a long abandoned trail. A gentle wind was blowing from the west, and the sun was about to dip over the horizon. It's impossible. Everything is so real. I feel the wind on my skin. Hear the rustle of grass as if I'm right here. No. All of this seems incredible. It's like I'm dreaming. Jack, focus. It's very important. It cannot be so real. Jack, do you remember how long it took you to get to the asylum? Not sure, but judging by the distance, probably an hour. Jack, stop wasting time. What you are doing is very important to us, and you. We should deal with it in the shortest time possible. Try to rewind your memories and get to the point where you're already approaching memory. Rewind? How? Focus, Jack. This is your brain, your memories. Just let them guide you. Tall mountains on my right. Their snow caps shone brightly, reflecting the sunset light. It was foggy, but I could see Memority clearly. I remember this landscape. It widgeted itself deep into my memory many years ago when I had visited Memority for the first time. of the cliff. I saw a lone tree. It grew on the very edge and seemed just about to fall down, just like I could. But the mighty roots held its heavy crown firmly, and the tree remained still. Are you afraid of heights? No, but such a height could make anyone dizzy. Later, the fog cleared a little. Kilometers, miles around. Everything was fully open to my view. I saw a rusted sign. It told me I was almost there. I remember a cableway on my right. The cables went very far, so it was unclear where it led. An old fountain. 
abandoned and overgrown with grass on my left. It probably pleased the eye with its beauty and crystal clear mountain water a long time ago, but time didn't spare it. Time spares no one at all. Yes, it's hard to argue with this. Finally, I approached Memority. I saw neither a high gate nor massive doors. I probably came to the backyard of the asylum. I had to get in somehow. How do you manage to do that? I don't remember. Or at least I don't know that yet. I need to find a way inside. There was an elevator that could lift me up to the asylum's back entrance, but it was de-energized. I had to turn the electricity back on. I heard the hum of generators. Apparently I'd switched on the spare power supply. When I reached the top, I saw the entire mountainside on which Memority stood. Remarkable, Jack. Have you already entered the asylum? I'm almost in. <laughs> 